Well, now to the migrant crisis. Police on Tuesday began taking away migrants who have been sleeping at the Italy-France border. Meanwhile, European Union ministers met in Luxembourg to hash out plans uh, to deal with the growing crisis. Italian police dressed in riot gear forcibly removed dozens of migrants, including crying women, from their makeshift camp on the rocky seaside, where they have slept for five days. Some of the mostly Sudanese, Eritrean and Somalian migrants who have been repeatedly rebuffed by France sought to resist removal. Police took some away while others remained on the seawall and under umbrellas on the rocks. Police say the migrants were being taken to the train station where they will be given assistance. The standoff at the border has become a symbol of Italy's effort to get the European Union to help it cope with the waves of migrants arriving in overcrowded boats from North Africa, with official estimates putting the total at 57,000 so far this year. France has argued that according to EU law, they are Italy's responsibility. Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi, speaking at a press conference in Rome on Monday, said the French action to turn back migrants crossing the border at Ventimiglia did not show the values he believes formed the European Union. A country such as Italy cannot allow France or anyone else to have ships in the Mediterranean but to leave them in Italy. Either this is a European problem and we resolve it all together, or if it has to be an Italian problem because Europe is closing its eyes. Italy can handle that. But I say that with a bitterness of one who thinks Europe is a large house of values. And I think the moment has arrived to say with force, with this problem, no national egoism can close their eyes. There is a need for the interest and work of everyone. European Union interior ministers are meeting in Luxembourg on Tuesday to discuss the bloc's immigration policy. Germany's interior minister insisted on the principles of solidarity and responsibility. We are ready to help, to help massively by the admission, by registering. We are also ready to set up a system of distribution in Europe. But this distribution must be for those who have a true chance to stay. This year, the EU agreed to triple its funding for sea rescues off the coasts of Italy and Greece. But the 28-nation bloc is deeply divided on how to manage the migrants once they arrive, especially as anti-immigrant sentiment sweeps across the continent.